Hello everyone, Canada Grass here, and this will be a set report for The Flash, Season 8, Episode 15. This was filmed about a month ago in downtown Vancouver. I have been a little behind on getting caught up on some things because I have been moving uh, most of my computer stuff over to a new computer and the editing software I use for videos is like one of the last things I moved over so a little behind on things um, here is uh, some of the scenes yes there are a lot of tree branches in the way you're just gonna have to uh, deal with that at some points but uh, there are some clear spots you'll see anyways on set this day this is, by the way, is the episode Eric Wallace was uh, directing. Um, you can see Grant Gustin dancing, having a fun time. He is there uh, with Christian Magby, who we know as Dion from last season. He is back, and they're doing a scene. Um, they're walking through this courtyard together. You can notice in the scene as well that uh, Mr. Barry Allen is not wearing a mask in it, which might be a curious thing to pay attention to. I have some theories on it, but I won't discuss those here because that's not what I come here to do. I come here just to show you what I see. You can see there that scene where they look back at that couple. There's a couple that walks by and they seem very fascinated with this pair walking by and I don't really know why. Um, They'll walk up this staircase here, and as they do, they'll come to a bench eventually. Um, but that scene there, they didn't complete the whole thing. So uh, here they are again doing uh, the whole scene. Um, you can see also in uh, Grant's hand, he's holding a device. Now here's the scene I was about to tell you about. They look at a newspaper sitting on a bench, just randomly there on a bench. Uh, pick it up and uh, he reads it casually then he's about to put it down and then he notices something and he's like well wait what's that and picks it back up and, and <laughs> uh, most of the other takes he did a lot smoother than that I never even noticed that till I'm just looking at it now uh, that he did not do it as smoothly that time <laughs> other other takes he did it more smoothly in fact I think on the other takes he didn't even put the paper down he did a action where he's almost about to put the paper down and then grabs it and picks it back up real quick to look. Hopefully I have a clip of that to show you here in a second. But the scene continues on. You see he looks at this device and they go walking along to something. I don't know where they're going, but they're looking at the device, uh, figuring something out. And you can see they're having a little laugh there at the end, probably remembering when Grant couldn't pick up the paper properly. So this is more how the scene usually went. He would look at the paper really quick then he'd be like, okay, yeah, I've read that. I, I'm going to put it down. No, wait, what the hell is that? And then he would read it in more detail. And they would have kind of a, oh, that can't be good moment. And then they put it back down and they walk along. So that is how most of the takes went. That first take that you saw where he put it right down on the uh, bench before picking it back up was not how it usually went. They would do this version where they constantly would put it down look at it and pick it back up uh, and then they would walk away looking at this uh, device and I still don't know what the purpose of that is but I'm sure we'll find out you can see in between takes both of them were having a lot of fun they, they seem to be in good moods on set that day they seem to get along uh, well working together um, I don't know what Grant is doing there. He must have, he must have asked uh, the director or something for details on where, where he needs to stand or something. I guess maybe he was uh, out of position. I don't know. Um, you, can, you can see their breath, by the way, when they're breathing out. That tells you how cold it was that day. Um, it was cold. I don't know exactly what the temperature was, but it was in the low single digits. I'll say two or three Celsius rough guess. Uh, cold enough that I, I definitely was cold too. Um, so I can only imagine staying there in a skin tight outfit how chilly it can get. I mean I know that uh, he obviously has certain um, he has like a thing underneath the suit to keep him warm. I don't know exactly how warm it keeps him but it keeps him a little warm. Um, 
here you can see them talking. This is the part where he looks at the device and the device does something, tells him something, and then obviously he just walks along. I don't know what's so funny. I have no idea why they found every take so funny. I have no idea. Hopefully it's a really funny piece of dialogue because they seem to crack up almost every take. And I don't know why. <laughs> um, here they are doing the scene where they're about to read the newspaper. And Grant's like, yeah, okay, I've got that. Wait, no, wait, what? Oh, actually, I guess I must have uh, got it from the second half of the scene. Never mind. Disregard everything I just said about that. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't have anything else clever to add about it. Um, that is the end of the video portion, though. From here, we have some still photos from that day. Here's Grant and Christian before they got into uh, wardrobe. You can see Eric Walsh to the far right or far left there. He was pointing, showing what to do. There's Grant. He's holding that device in his hand um, that was for the scene. Uh, <clears throat> there he is walking by Christian during a take, kind of going different directions, I guess you could say, you know. Um, there's Christian uh, getting ready to do a scene. You can see just constantly in a good mood on set. Very different from the way you see Dion, who always looks very angry, very serious, like in this photo here where he's walking with Grant. Just always has that serious look on his face when they're actually filming. And those big green, green neon pole you saw beside his face, they had a whole bunch of those in the courtyard to give the area a greenish tinge. So. I've seen some people's theories on what that could mean. Um, I think it probably, you know, it, it's probably got some meaning, but I'm not going to get into details because I don't really theory craft in these videos. That's for you guys and other YouTubers to uh, discuss. <laughs> this is them doing a scene. You can see them, like, in a very serious conversation there. This is the scene where they're reading the newspaper. Grant is uh, looking at something. Well, Dion's looking at him. I keep calling him Grant. Barry. Barry's looking at the newspaper. Dion's looking at him. <clears throat> Here they are having a laugh after one of the takes. I do not know what was so funny on set that day, but they were continually laughing at stuff. Um, I don't know what they were doing in this exact minute, but it is a different, different photo than most of the ones I've got. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I don't think this is in scene. Or if it is, I don't remember what the context of it was. I don't remember him pointing at his head for any other takes. <clears throat> Sorry, I paused there for a second. I didn't really have a, a thought on that. Um, there's Grant standing up on a ledge. They had him looking down at the paper a couple of times, standing up on this ledge, kind of giving more height so I could guess they could get a different view. There's the clapperboard for the episode. You can see in the bottom left corner, Eric Wallace's name, and the episode number in the upper left corner. And these are the photos most people paid attention to. This one with the Star Labs thing, but the next one is the one most people really paid most attention to and got all the attention, and that was this one with Zoom and Godspeed destroy the Central City. Almost every website and fan site ran with some theory on that. Um, it could just be could just be a newspaper clip. We may never actually see that in fulfillment. But that's it for this video. Hopefully, I'll have some more in the near future. Uh, for now, that is it. If you want more Flash content, I have some on my site. There's a Flash. Um, uh, ugh, forgot what they call that. Bye.